Hello again everybody, King is here of course for you. And uh, today we've got another Clan Wars video. Now uh, as I think you kinda all got bored by, uh, of mines by now, uh, and I'm not leading a lot else than mines at the moment, I got this replay from uh, Odomortis, our brother clan or whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's Panzerdigger, uh who had sent me the replay and who was also leading the battle. And uh, yeah, let's have a look at it. So we are on Sand River. The enemy is Red S or Red Supreme, who are more or, le uh, more or less uh, as skilled, at least overall. And now you can see directly we're playing with a lot of arty here. Uh, there was I'm gonna say we because it's just easier for me. Anyway, we've got three artis, a conqueror and two object six ones. Now as this map is very very open, it doesn't really come as a surprise. You can I mean like not taking arty on this map is either you're doing a yolo rush or you're doing it wrong. Um, and even taking one arty is probably not enough, like, except if you do a Yoda rush, so. We see that there's, a uh, one arty and two six one over here, which give it a completely different angle of fire. I want to talk about this real quick, actually. So let's pause it. We're doing clan wars, we've got three arties. What is a mistake you can do? Oopsie, that was not what I wanted to do. Put three arties in the same place. What are we doing here? There's a conqueror, um, he's going to go in this area. Uh, because of his re really ri ah, really high angle, from here he can really well shoot the guys over there. For example, we've got a two six one. It's going to stay in the base area and move there to get shots on whatever it can, either on the hill, for example, or just on stuff wherever. And we've got a bat chant spotting the right side as well as a two six one, uh, which is just there. The bat chant is spotting uh, to see that the two six one is safe or not, and the two six one is here to get shots. For example, down the nine line or up to this hill, which is a bit hard to hit otherwise or also in case the enemy is camping here, you can get shots there, etc, etc um, gonna go and play real quick actually no, I'm gonna tell you what the tactic was at the beginning uh, that Pat Stiger wanted to run uh, before it changed so we've got a batshot here who's meant to spot we have five STB1s if I'm not wrong his plan was to go this way, up there and fight on the hill 250Bs who were meant to go to this hill and support the STB1s and uh, two IS-7s who were meant to go somewhere hold down here and control that area basically uh, and we have one two six three in base for fire support now what are the enemies doing? as you can see they're rushing with a lot of mediums uh, so he just gives the order to go on the ridge line and start sniping them which uh goes kind of mixed at the beginning the enemies do manage to get really far forward onto our side of the map uh, getting behind this little ridgeline hill there and the same here with some of the enemies staying support they are playing with a lot of 140s a lot of bat chats and a couple 50bs in support they have also managed to take this hill uh, as we were not able to get there that was an unlucky miss, wow again but uh, yeah, they were able to take this hill without really any issues as we were not able to get there by the crossfire of enemy tanks and as you can see we're already down by three tanks uh, Panzer Tiger starts moving up here but see that STB1 is going to deny that and yeah the enemy also have one STB1 on that ridge line and a bat chat uh, where R261 is no, on the right here that's another bat chat basically so uh, setup wise the enemies have only got mediums and well for me 50B is like a medium support tank in Clan Wars fucking randoms too um, while we have basically the same but we have one more RT they have two RTs and we also have two I7s as well as the 263 I guess but yeah setups are actually quite similar difference is that the enemy completely put the pressure on us however we've ma now managed to catch up uh, two more tanks And now the score is even again. Oh, until that STB got killed by RT, I guess. Panzer decides to go on a reload. Uh, he told me he was talking with uh, Loki over here. And they decided that together they could rush the Batshat there. So he's going to just relocate to there and try and take that out. So that the 261 there is uh, completely safe. And also so that the Batshat can maybe go for RT. Or just snipe in general from this area with a 50B in the Batshat there. Basically to gain more map control and make that 261 safe. And open uh, another flank of danger to the enemy. 
Because they can't leave this flank open wherever their RT is. Except if they move their RT to the hill. So, uh, yeah. Over there, a lot of our tanks have been taken out by now. Uh, there's only a couple left. But they're holding out rather well. A lot of the enemies are low life. Um, Pasadag stops here to take some shots at that 140. However, he gets spotted. Which kind of surprised me, to be honest. I wonder what it was. And he gets hit by 140 uh, damage from the 140 there. Which is kind of weird, because that means that it was shooting HE. So maybe that HE was meant for a hold down I-7 or something. Now suddenly, uh, two bad shots rush here. Uh, taking out one of the RTs. As uh, he's on reload, he's just going to run away fast, fast, fast. And he also tells that 263 to fall back as soon as it can. The 263 having moved forward in order to uh, get some better shots up there. Now I think uh, he was getting a bit greedy here. But yeah, the bad shots there are reloading. So that's why he decides he wants to stay, uh, well, get unspotted before he crosses this area. Because if he crosses here spotted, he's going to get destroyed by the 140s over there. Squares has now evolved to 8-8, eight eight, uh, staying extremely close all along. He gets spotted now by the bad shots who have reloaded. He does some nice wiggling there, evading the next shot, and gets safe behind the mountain. Ah, not yet. But, uh, yeah. He uh, relocated to 263 back here, getting it out of crossfire in case it gets rushed uh, at the base. And, uh, yeah, as he gets respotted, the enemies are really moving up really fast. So, let's do a summary of the situation right now. What do we have? What do they have? We have an I-7 here, who's uh, hold down and kind of holding out, but in danger of being taken up by RT. So there's an STB-1 on Half-Life here, uh, who's also playing over hold down. Uh, and we have Panzer Tiger coming back, and he's also Half-Life 50B. We still have a Conqueror over here. Uh, he was over there, but fell back intelligently, because he was scared of getting spotted, which makes complete sense. And a 261, who isn't able to use all of the base anymore, and is also constrained to more of this area. As well as a 263, basically defending base from different positions. The enemies still have one bat chat up there on that vantage point, which is a great advantage for them. Because it gives, it, uh, it gives them vision control on all of this area, uh, except behind the ridge lines, and kind of denies a lot of movement for us. Um, they also have two bad shots here, who might come push base or might just try and get sniping shots into us, as well as the 2140s who are on that ridge line. Now the 2140s are kind of uh, annoying on one side, because yeah, they're in a very aggressive position and they're more or less RT safe there. However, on the other side, the 140s are kind of stuck where they are, enemy also having two RTs. Uh, so the positive thing is that the 140s are kind of stuck where they are, uh, the bad shots however are all free to roam because, you know, that badger could just fall back and get whatever he wants, and same for those two. They can do whatever they want, really. So, uh, that's that. Now I-7 decides to fall back a bit. And then gets destroyed by RT. Making us down two tanks and uh, around 2000 HP. Uh, which is uh, really, really bad, to be honest. Um, so yeah, apparently the bat chat up there was a one shot and they knew that. So Panzer Tiger decides to uh, go forwards and try and spot him, as RT is pre-aiming on him. At least the Conqueror is. He gets spotted here by the 140s. And there the bat chat is. He uh, tries to go for a shot, but the bat chat falls back quickly enough. Gets taken out by the Conqueror, and Panzer Tiger immediately starts moving again to evade RT. The STP-1 is now also moving up. And let's talk about how much this changed the, uh, the engagement. With the bat chat no longer there, uh, the, all these tanks are free to roam up to this area. Um, what does that change? First of all, they can go here and they won't be spotted by RT. Also, if they engage this area from here, they won't get shot in the side by the bat chat. So, this makes the 140s much more stuck in their position, because they can't really move here because of the 263. So, they are now stuck here with tanks being able to use a switch line against them, even though they have <laughs> three wrecks to hide behind. 
Bad Tiger focuses the low life. Gets in the first two shots. Misses that one. And takes him out with a nice shot to the turret. So that got us up one more tank. 263 in base. Also I managed to take out uh, one bad jet coming for him. Honestly a 263 when it has a um, distance on the enemy. Like is able to shoot it when it when the enemy is approaching. It's very powerful against mediums because it's very difficult to pin it on the move. Uh, even with gold. And uh, yeah. Now that STB1 moves up over here. This engagement is still not one, as the remaining 140 is a uh, full life actually. And uh, also, while this was happening, the enemy bat chat, which was previously roaming this area, dropped down here. And it's now probably going to try and spot from this area uh, any tanks in base. And uh, it can also, from there, shoot this area a bit. So uh, yeah, <laughs> not much to say right now, they're kind of waiting, I guess for Archer to reload or whatever. The STP-1 is trying to move up carefully uh, to get some spots off. Panzer Tiger being a one-shot, he doesn't want to be the first one to get spotted again, because uh, all the enemies still have two RTs which are probably going to be pre-aimed, or which are for sure pre-aimed in this general area. As you can see, the 263 is also basically dead, as he is on 16 HP. But, uh, well, better 16 than 0, right? The STB gets a jump on the 140, gets a shot into him, Panzer Tiger goes out. Misses his first shot, unluckily. Uh, the Conqueror QC gets taken out, he probably got spotted right there uh, by the 140, and the enemy RT killed it, or killed him. But the 140 is now a one shot, and the STB is able to take him out, surely. It has the HP advantage at close quarters. Has to be doing a smart move here, going around from behind. And uh, yeah, wait, who just took out that bat champ? Either the 263 or the RT. But uh, anyway, it was as uh, a two playing together. So uh, that bat champ also got taken out. And uh, surprisingly, they managed to uh, win this game, which started rather badly, they then caught up, then <laughs> it looked bad again when the score was, uh, ah, whatever, 8 to 10 or something. And now, yeah, it's only enemy RT left. Gonna speed it up to times 2. Not much uh, left to say. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Tell me if you did. Uh, or tell me if you didn't, also. Uh, also, still tell me if you uh, prefer uh, live videos or uh, if you uh, prefer commentaries. I'm obviously not going to be able to give you any live videos from OM or from any battle I am not needing because I have to be in the battle to record it. Um, so that's that, basically. And also, yeah, tell me because I'm always thinking like mines again, mines again, mines again and like half the time I do the same tactics. Uh, do you guys actually want to see mines ten times over? Like, do I always think you get bored of it. Is that true or do you actually not really care if it's always the same map? Please tell me that in the comments because if you don't really care I can uh, semi-regularly uh, give you uh, live um, videos of us playing on mines, but uh, if you, you know, if you say you get bored of always seeing the same map with similar tactics, um, yeah, then tell me that too, and I'll of course reduce the amount or try harder to get some replays from other places or other maps. I do also have a replay from uh, what's that map called? South Coast. I think South Coast which is going to be uh, coming up really soon uh, from me leading actually but I just wanted to show you this one first because I just found it very very interesting it was a very close game and uh, both the enemy and our team did a lot of stuff right well, our team being other mortars of course so uh, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed if you did uh, like share comment and uh, see you next time bye bye gang is here